Hey, it's Colin here at Apache Camping Center. Today we got a Tab 400, brand new for 2024. A lot of changes have happened. Let's take a look inside and see what's going on. This being a Boondock Black Canyon, the Boondock is now standard, but the Black Canyon is addition for 2024. You can downgrade from just a standard to the classic, which will actually reduce the tire and axle size, the grab handle, and the step to a lower grade. On the front, you do have the standard diamond plated box. This will give you the uh, propane tank storage. Uh, a lot of people put in two propane tanks, propane tanks up front. Um, this is not where the batteries go on the Tab 400. On the Tab 400, they are placed underneath the bed in the back. Standard on a Tab 400 for 2024 is one 100 amp hour lithium battery. Moving up top, nice new logo on the front for 2024. We also have standard 310 watt solar up top. With the Black Canyon package, you do add another 310 watt solar panel up top on the back side. So that'll give you 620 watts of solar total. Let's take a look inside. Moving to the inside, we do have this set up as the facing dinette, no bunk in this model. 2024, you do now have the option of a bunk or a non-bunk model. This is gonna be the non-bunk model. If you do get the bunk, it cuts the table to about here, and you have a uh, pad that goes across the back that flips up into the bunk that sits about here. Um, you do have lots of storage up top, up at the front, speaker on the le uh, left here. Um, in this compartment, you do have a little bit of storage, but you also can see your Aldi fluid level. The Aldi system is going to run your radiant heat system, so it's different than a forced air heat system that will actually radiate through the floors, but around the cabinetry and the radiant heat will kind of dissipate throughout these little slits in the cabinetry below, all the way throughout. And also the shower pan will be heated as a radiant heat floor. That's two cool things about that. One, it's silent. And two, it's gonna be a lot more energy efficient, uh, being able to get a lot more heat, a lot more steady heat uh, throughout the night or through the day. Lots of cubbies here. These are set up in little tiny cubbies. One, cause it's pretty cute. But two, uh, if you do have the bunk, this acts as a small ladder to get up into the bunk. On the window up here, nice big front window, can let in a lot of light. It's really sunny out today. So we can also do the blackout shade if you pull up from the bottom and just the screen if you pull down from the top. We have the door closed here. This is pretty nice. You can put, you know, I've seen everything from potted plants to spatulas uh, placed in these little holders here. Everyone likes using this guy as a little trash can down below. This will be your fire extinguisher holder. Do you have your blackout curtain here so you can get some privacy. And what's really neat is you don't have two doors that swing against each other. If you have the uh, a traditional travel trailer, this will just pull across the side is your um, screen door when this is open. Moving into the kitchen, we have good prep space up top right by the door. Let's step back. You have your uh, AC, your Aldi system, uh, which is your heat system, your controls for all your fresh wa uh, black and gray tank, um, your lights, your water pump, and that is your Black Canyon uh, underglow light switch. Again, nice accent light throughout. It's just the time and attention they've put to these is really comes off in terms of the quality of the cabinetry, the accent lighting, the placement of everything. I mean, I'm 6'5", I can stand up in the middle of this trailer here and be able to work in this kitchen. You have a nice big basin sink, a little bit of prep space here, two burner stove on this side. Do you have the uh, 12 volt TV here set up against the bed in the back. And the bed in the back is gonna be a east-west bed. So you're gonna be laying this way. Uh, do you have a little cubby around the outside for a little bit of storage here if you wanna charge your phones, what have you. Um, you do have an AC port up here. So if on those hot days, you can run that AC, get it cooled back in this little area too. Nice speaker in the back as well to enjoy your tunes.
you also have, if you didn't know, a nice little hanging spot for any of your clothes. Just these nice little details that they've really put out for 2024. And using every little bit of space for storage, this is gonna be underneath your bed. You can open up that, get a little bit of storage under there. A lot of your systems are gonna sit under the back, like your uh, water system is a little bit set up under the side over there. You do have batteries in the back as well. Like I said, standard is one lithium 100 amp hour battery. You can upgrade to four 100 amp hour lithium batteries. And that upgrade will also give you a 3000 watt inverter that will run every system on board. Currently you do have an inverter on here, but that is going to just run the uh, 110 outlets like this. We continue on, you got more cabinetry up top. Nice deep cabinetry, fit some plates in there. Different utensils down below. You have an actual uh, cabby underneath that um, uh, dish, or sorry, silverware drawer. Put spatulas or what have you on the side. More storage underneath. Nice deep cabinets there. Got splitter in the middle. That is that is set in there. You can't take that out, but it does give you some good space in there to store some stuff. Underneath again, big storage area. Cubby on this side. Underneath the fridge, you do have a cubby here. They have this nice little notch out, so it looks nice when it's all facing. When you pull it out, said, so "Where's that space go?" Again, that cubby back over here. Up top, I'll wave to you guys. This is going to be a larger 12 volt fridge with that much solar on there. You're going to be hard pressed to run this thing out. You've got a nice little freezer up top. Tested these fridges. Um, you've seen them go from, uh, if you had a 170 watt or 75 amp hour battery, um, flooded battery, it lasted for two days. You threw 100 solar on there, 100 watts of solar on there. It lasted for 14 days. Granted, that's optimal conditions. But guys, this has 310 watts solar standard and one 100 amp hour lithium battery that could draw way lower than a flooded battery. So you're not gonna have too much of an issue with this fridge up top. All right, well, we've been camping. We're getting dirty. We've been playing around in the woods. It's time to take a shower. Nice vanity mirror up top. Great handles on here. These are metal handles. It's really nice to get these finer finishes on uh, a trailer. And all this is solid wood in here. We do have a shower curtain that runs around the ring up top. Nice hooks for your, your clothes. Even if you're just pulling on these, you know, usually you can get a little bit of flex in the wall. I can't get any flex in that wall. Cubbies up top, shampoos, toiletries, everything that you need up there. Toilet down here, plenty of space to sit. You got a nice, another sink to wash your hands so you don't have to go in and out of the bathroom to wash your hands. You got your hot and cold tap, easy access to water. Nice spray hose up here with your on off switch. Again, nicest thing about these 400s is they run that radiant heat through the floor there. So when you're running your heat, that floor will be warm. It's nice for a morning shower. Last little things up front, more storage. This is new for 2024, finished out over the wheel well here. And over here, there's a tiny access to your uh, AC ducting. I am 6'5", I am standing up uh, as tall as I can right in the middle so i do have a little bit of gap up here for uh head height and also working in the kitchen here i do have a lot of space um to be able to work in here so for even for taller customers taller campers i mean you got a lot of room to move around in here i feel pretty comfortable uh, it is a nice small compact couples trailer built extremely well new camp is really one of those companies that's done a great job of building something uh to spec a lot of thought involved but also just as a smaller company, they put a lot of attention to detail. All these solid wood cabinets. I mean, if you're looking for something that's longer term, if you're looking for something that's high use, I mean, think about 
you know, going on a month long road trip, you're gonna open this cabinet about a thousand times. And with that, that hinge is gonna be super solid, heavier hinges, heavier doors. I mean, overall, you're looking at about 3,100 pounds dry. So it is a heavier trailer for its size, but realistically, in terms of being able to get into places, be a little bit more spontaneous, be able to have that optional lithium package to have you fully off the grid, you've got great options with this trailer. Uh, the New Camp Tab 400 2024, you can find it at our website at apachecamping.com or you can reach out to me directly at Colin at apachecamping.com.